morning everyone it's tuesday morning and um i, I didn't even realize it was bank holiday weekend it was bank holiday monday which means all the banks are closed um people are off work and everything so um i had visitors i wasn't expecting because i didn't realize so that was nice. I mean, I, I've always used to say, you know, if you don't need an appointment to come and visit, just don't expect everything to be in its place or pristine. But um, I did. I worked for um, a solid, after, when I was on my own, for a solid seven hours uh, right into the night getting this house clean. Um as much as I can. I mean, I was absolutely worn out by the end of it, but um, it made me feel better. And I came across some old books. I came across um, a letter. Look at my handwriting. It's in French, you can't see what it says. But um, a two-page letter. All in French, in, in my good handwriting, even with the little drawings. But I didn't send it, and I don't know why. I might send it, but um, my friend would just have to realise that it refers to things in a few years ago now. I even did a little colouring to go in with it. <laughs> but I also came across... Um, this is an article from a women's magazine in 1948, before even I was born. And it says, every time we put on weight, we die a little. And I'll read it to you, it's only short. Every time we put on weight, we die a little. We turn our backs on elegance, pleasure, gracefulness, sveltes, even our true looks. We lose our health itself. Putting on too much weight constrict, constricts the functioning of essential organs, the heart, kidneys and the liver. Just as it restricts movement, deforms the body, results in heavy gaits, and prevents us from keeping active. Putting on weight means we say goodbye to life's pleasures, losing our looks and ageing before our time. To lose weight is to be rejuvenated, to rediscover our youthful silhouette to be born again into the joy of living and um, it just says from a woman's a woman's magazine I don't know which magazine it was in 1948 and I think it's there's a lot of truth in it isn't there I think probably one of the worst things that we, the human animal, can do is to have scorn and disregard for our body. But more than that even, I think, is scorn and disregard for our soul. You know... When we die, we leave behind a big empty gap in the lives of our loved ones. But it's only our, it's our physical presence that's gone. Our eternal soul lives on. And I'm doing my best to try to understand how that is or to find my pathway i think that anybody who says that your way is the wrong way your way is the wrong way 
I think as long as you live in a good life and you do something for others, that you look after the body God gave you and you look after your own soul, as long as you do good things as far as possible. We're all human. We all are. We can all be spiteful. It's the human condition. But make it so that the good outweighs the bad, is what I'm saying. But yes, that article's very true. And to have that disregard for one's body, the outer being for one's surroundings, if you like, as well, to have that disregard for things that we can see on the outside that people perceive means that you're not really looking after yourself on the inside either, where it really counts. Anyway, it will be a philosophy at uh, 6.30 in the morning, so about 25 to 7. I don't know why my camera's round the wrong way. It never used to be. I'll have to have a look at it. But it's 25 to 7. Um, all is well. I'm hoping it's going to be a nice day. I want to go out today or we'll go somewhere. Not sure where. Um, as I say, there's lots of places that I want to go. And I want to go to Sarah Hall Mill, which is where Tolkien got his ideas for the Hobbit series and the Shires. And you can actually go into the mill, look all around the mill, have um, a guided tour, if you like, or you can go around by yourself. Um, and they've got like little pods there that you can sit in and have something to eat. So I think it would be not quite nice to go, but they're not open today. So um, I'm not sure where we're going, but we'll go somewhere. And I'll be back later out of my pyjamas. Do excuse me. It is early, you know. Give me a break. I'll be back later on. Okay. These nails.